Hello, my name is Ty Gavin, and today I'm going to talk about Telium's advanced webhook. My role here at Telium is VP of Software Development on the integrations team, and sometimes I moonlight as a blog author. I've written one on Telium's advanced webhook, and so this is sort of the video version of what's been posted online. Um, it's an integration with Telium using our universal data hub and Slack, which is a fun technology where you can uh, message yourself and others. What I'm going to do, or what I've done, is set up a webhook inside of Telium's Universal Data Hub as a connector that is visitor-based that will send me the last three blog posts viewed by someone browsing Telium.com. So I'm on Telium.com right now. I'm in Firefox. I'm going to read some blogs about the one I'm talking about right now. And I can even look over here um, and check out the data layer that Telium is collecting. Let's see, it's a robust data layer here with lots of cookies. We're picking up automatically DOM data points, and there's even a post author named Ty Gavin. This is the key that I'm using. So there's one blog post we've read. Let's go back and read another one. And that's two in the same visit. And then we'll read one more. We'll keep an eye on Slack. There it is. So these are the three blog posts I just read. It sends me directly a message in my Slack inbox. So how does how do we make that work? Well, we used well first we had to do some research on Slack, understand how their incoming webhook works. We had to set up a specific endpoint that will go just to me and do some research here to figure out what the format of the data payload that comes across. So there's a simple JSON structure, key value pairs, username, icon, and text the message itself. And I've configured the webhook in Telium to follow that similar JSON structure with the username, webhook bot, the text is dynamic based on the titles that have been read, and the icon emoji is a plus one, which gives me the thumbs up every time someone reads a blog. Uh, this is done using the send custom request connector inside of Universal Data Hub. Um, and there's a couple things set up around this. One is an enrichment to count the number of blog posts read. So you saw that data layer. We saw the post author was Ty Gavin. Every time an event happens with post author Ty Gavin, we'll increment this metric here, Ty count of blog posts read by one. And then we've also defined a audience. So you join that audience when the number, the count of blog posts read, is greater than two. And you can see that this audience in the webhook is used as the source of data. So when that someone joins that audience, this webhook will post to this endpoint a JSON post, and this is the actual message that gets posted. Uh, I'm mapping a, a collection of the titles read into this titles variable, and that's what I use here in the uh, JSON. So this is a handlebar style substitution. So the last three items and titles are 0, 1, and 2. Programmers start with 0. Um, you can see those will get swapped out into this message. And you can see this little hyphen here. So it becomes a bulleted list when I get that message in Slack. And that's also separated by new lines, these backslash ends. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the advanced um, webhook in Telium, Universal Data Hub, based on an audience and sending dynamic data using handlebars.